in order for you to be able to experience God, you have to partner with God at, where God's at work. Enable for you, in order for you to be able to experience God, you have to partner with God at where God's at work. Sometimes we're like, well, I'm just bored in my faith. That's because you're not partnering with God. I just don't really feel that connected to Jesus because you're not partnering with God. See, some of us what we have is you can have a moment of salvation and it feels and you're experiencing God in that moment because he's working in you and you're partnering with him to receive salvation, okay? Or forgiveness or, you know, you have a moment, this moment of repentance, this moment of whatever, and you think that's good. That's just the, that's just the moment. It's the journey, it's the process. It's the ongoing, okay, I have a moment, great, that was a real moment and that was real, but now I'm over here in this journey, in this process, and I don't feel anything, why would I feel anything? Because you're not partnering with him at where he's at work. God doesn't get up in the morning and, and look for Tim and say, Tim, what are you doing today so I can help you out? That's not how God operates. How God thinks it is, he wants Tim to come to him and say, God, help me have eyes to see what you see and feel about it the way you feel about it so I can partner with what you're doing already. Like, where is God at work? What's God accomplishing? What's God trying to do in you, around you, around other people, whatever it is? Who's, what is that? If you really want to experience God, then you have to partner with him. The mission is an invitation from God to partner with him. He's like saying, listen, this is what I'm doing. And we're like, well, I don't like that, but hold on, what's another option? You're like going to a restaurant, I only had one meal. You know, like every, week, every day was a different meal, but it's only one meal. You go there on Tuesday, and on Tuesday it's hamburgers. And they say, hey, hey, we got hamburgers, and we got hamburgers, and we got hamburgers. And you're like, well, I didn't, I didn't really want that. I was kind of wanting you know, breakfast today. Well, we don't have that. We have hamburgers. Okay, don't go to that restaurant if you don't want hamburgers, because on Tuesday they have hamburgers. You go there on Wednesday, and they got, they got breakfast. Okay, they got breakfast on Wednesday, but they didn't have it on Tuesday. Today they got breakfast. But I want a hamburger. They don't have hamburgers on, on Wednesday because they have them on Tuesday. It's, it's really, what is God doing and do I want to partner with him? Do I want to join him in that? So option number one is, here's the mission I have entrusted to you. I called you. I drew you to myself. I saved you by my grace. I put my, my spirit in you to give you the faith to even believe in me. You place your faith in me. I chose to save you. You're now mine. Mission number one is as you go, be a good reflection in the darkness. Here's my message of reconciliation that I'm entrusting to you. We come to God with our brokenness and our pain and all the cracks in our character and all that stuff that's messed up in us. And we just walk this journey of allowing his spirit to wash and cleanse us from unrighteousness, to sandpaper off rough edges, to, to work in us. It's, he's partnering in us, in us, but he's also wanting us to partner with him outside of us. It's him working in us and through us to accomplish the work he wants to accomplish. And the moment I say, I'm done, I'm done with the ringing out thing, I'm done with the sandpaper thing, I'm done changing. It won't be long to the cracks in my character and in my nature come back out. If you want to experience God, you have to partner with God. You have to be willing to put yourself in a position where you say, I accept his invitation. Not for a week, not for a month, but for the rest of my life. 